Hello everyone, my name is Masum Moradi and I will be presenting a comparative study of the effectiveness of Tahiri consciousness fields and the theory of mind on borderline personality disorder on behalf of Mr. Muhammad Ali Tahiri and Mehri Sheikhu. Before I begin, I just want to provide you with an outline of this presentation. The objective of this study aims to determine the effectiveness of Tahiri consciousness field treatment on reducing the symptoms of borderline personality disorder and to compare this to the effectiveness of teaching patients the theory of mind. Just some background information about borderline personality disorder. Borderline personality disorder is recognized as a pervasive pattern of instability in interpersonal relationships, self-concept, emotions, and impulsivity and it manifests itself in various contexts. Borderline personality disorder patients are characterized by instability in their emotional state, mood, behavior, and object and self-image relationships, which describe as temporary schizophrenia or Helen Dash's terminological personality disorder. Effective and definitive treatments for this disorder do not exist but modalities of treatments exist to minimize patients' symptoms. We look to further explore an important components of this study, the theory of mind and Tahiri consciousness fields. The theory of mind refers to the capacity to understand other people by crediting mental states to them. Theory of mind is a theory insofar as the behavior of other people, such as their statements and expressions, is the only thing being directly observed. Based on individual circumstances, different people may develop more or less effective theory of mind techniques. Muhammad Ali Tahiri is the founder of Erfan Kehani Halqe, school of thought with over 40 years of history also founded two forms of complementary medicine known as paradharmony and cymatology. In most countries of the world, complementary medicine and conventional medicine are used, are used to diagnose and treat diseases. Mr. Tahiri introduced a new science in 2020 as a branch of this school of thought in which he coined the term science fact. In science fact, Tahiri consciousness is introduced and defined as one of the constituent components of the cosmos in addition to matter and energy, which Tahiri consciousness fields as non-material, non-energetic fields are derived from it. The inventor of the method introduces such evidence as a scientific fact, known as science fact, seen in figure 1a, and its common point with the world of conventional science in the evident experiences in the world of matter and energy. As you can see in figure 2a, Tahiri consciousness is one of the three existing elements of the universe apart from matter and energy. Moving on to the methods, the quasi-experimental method was used in the present study. With a control and an experimental group where the pretest borderline personality disorder questionnaire STB scores were monitored during the analysis process. The statistical population of this study were 24 clients diagnosed with borderline personality disorder using the STB questionnaire in clinics in Tehran, Iran. The patients were randomly selected and assigned to the, to the two patient groups of 12. The ANCOVA test used to compare the result with the pre-test and post-test scores. Just some important points I would like to address before moving into the statistical analysis in Table 1. Based on our analysis of the dependent variables, marital status, and educational level, we found that all subjects in the control group were married, and nearly 29% were divorced. In the experimental group, 29% of the subjects were single. Additionally, the education level of the people in the control and experimental groups was a high school diploma, and the average age difference between the two groups was 36 units. 
Based on the significant probability of the test, the normality of the variable distribution of general symptoms of borderline personality disorder in both the control and experimental groups was confirmed. Table 1 shows the mean of the subscales which compare the treatment of the two methods of consciousness field and theory of mind with their controls. The bold numbers indicate their significance and CFS was used to abbreviate the Tahiri consciousness fields in subsequent tables and figures in the following slides. As you can see, there is a 43% efficiency after treatment of using the Tahiri consciousness fields. On the contrary, there is a 21% efficiency seen in post theory of mind treatment in the table. However, it is not significant compared to the control group. Additionally, when we look at the hypothesis subtypes of despair specifically, our statistical analysis indicated that there is an 11% efficiency after treatment using Tahiri consciousness fields, unlike the negative 3% efficiency after using theory of mind treatment seen in the table. Figure 1 shows the total data of the subscales and their significance comparing both the TCFS and theory of mind treatment with their specific control groups. As you can see, there is a statistically significant difference between the pre-CF treatment and post-CF treatment. However, the pre-mind and post-mind data indicate that there is no significant difference between them. Furthermore, it's important to note that the pre-CF data compared to the pre-mind data indicate no statistically significant difference between them. Figure 2 shows the data collection of the despair subscale and the dispersion with a significant comparison between the groups in this study. As you can see, there is a statistically significant difference between the pre-CF treatment and the post-CF treatment with an efficiency of 11% mentioned previously. However, the pre-mind and post-mind data indicate that there is an efficiency of negative 3%, which indicates there is no significant difference between them also as mentioned previously. Figure 3 provides a side-by-side -side comparison of the probability density of the total data shown in 3A and the comparison of the total data with the distribution shown in 3B. 3A indicates that the probability density of all data was compared and obtained from the subscales in comparison between different groups of this study where statistical significance was compared in each treatment between the experimental and control treatments. In 3A, instead of adding subscales values and comparing them, which is seen in 3B, all the subscales data was compared together and cumulatively between the types of groups. 3A was created in order to provide a better visualization of the compiled data via probability density, thus portraying the effectiveness of TCFS treatment in comparison to theory of mind. Regarding 3A, we see that there was no significance between pre-mind and post-mind data. Additionally, there was a significant difference between pre-CF and post-CF treatments. The Tahiri consciousness field treatments had a better effect in treating borderline personality disorder in comparison to mind theory treatment shown in figure 3A. Overall, the inclining data density to lower values in total was clear once again in figure 3a. To reiterate, these were the major findings of this study. The results indicated that treatment of TCFS resulted in a reduction of about 43% in the general symptoms of borderline personality disorder compared to the control group. The subscales were compared, and the TCFS had a significant decreasing effect on the subscale of specifically despair. The lack of significance in comparison between pre- and post-treatment were evident for both the subscales of paranoia and impulsivity.
Therefore, the hypothesis of the effect of the Tahiri consciousness field cymatology on reducing borderline personality disorder was significant. The effectiveness and significance of the Tahiri consciousness fields pharodharmony and cymatology in reducing symptoms of despair was confirmed. However, this could not be said about symptoms of impulsivity and paranoia. In closing, I will be discussing the future prospects of the study. The use of Tahiri consciousness fields introduces an alternative and complementary method to the conventional borderline personality disorder treatments. The implications of this study provides future opportunities to study the effects of Tahiri consciousness fields, pharodharmony, and cymatology on other debilitating physical and mental illnesses. For any question, please contact Cosmo Intel. Thank you very much for listening.